Hey, what's up? Day 31, almost done. I got one more glass of water, my picture to take. I'm totally doing this newscaster style. I'm literally in my underwear, in my truck, in the driveway. But you can't tell because, you know, looks like I'm totally dressed. So, anyway, um, pretty good day, nice Sunday, pretty laid back. Um, got up this morning and, uh, and uh, me and Belle the dog went for a walk. Made a new friend, big fluffy dog named Luna. Luna was very pretty. Um, Belle did not know what to make of Luna because Luna was bigger than Belle. Significantly bigger than Belle. I don't know what kind of dog it was. But it had big, poofy, fluffy hair. Straight, not curly. Uh, really soft. Really cool dog. But Belle was a little skittish around her because she was way bigger than Belle. But uh, really nice people that uh, Luna's owners and we came home and uh, we went off to church and uh, had a good day at church. Good service by uh, Pastor Chris. And uh, that was it. Came home and me and Card got some, um, got a load ready for one of the guys for tomorrow. And then I did a bunch of billing. I did my second workout and uh, that's about it. We're done for the night and go to sleep early and get some sleep. Um, but uh, one thing that kind of stuck with me from uh, Pastor Chris's uh, talk today was he said, uh, he made a comment and he said, like, every time you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else. And every time you say you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. And it sounds kind of elementary, but I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, you kind of think of it that way when you're making a decision about something. But I think it would help to, like, at least I think it'll help me when I'm making a, a, a yes or no type decision to like verbalize it both ways and maybe even write it down. Like if I say yes to this, I'm saying no to that or the inverse. Um, and I think that, I think that could help you with your, uh, with your internal struggles with what, how, you know, how you're making decisions. If I say yes to this, what am I saying no to? And evaluate both of those. And I think that, I think that could really, uh, I don't know. We're going to see. I think a lot, I think a lot when I'm driving, trying to make decisions and figure stuff out. Um, I mean, I'd like to say that they're not yes or no decisions, but when I guess when it really comes down to it, everything's a yes or no decision. Um, at the, you know, when you drill down into the heart of it, it's always a yes or a no. Um, obviously, some are more complicated than that, but um, probably the majority of them are yes or no. So, um, I don't know. I thought it was a great takeaway. Um, a great takeaway from, uh, from Pastor Chris's sermon today. Every no has a yes, and every yes has a no. So, I don't know. That kind of stuck with me uh, today, and uh, I'm going to think on that. And I'm going to try and incorporate that into my decision-making. So, I don't know. I don't have a lot today. That's it. Luna the dog. Every yes has a no. No has a yes. Had some good friends with us at church today. That was cool. Went to lunch after. Went to Rubio's. 
Um, I was kind of worried about what I was going to eat at Rubio's, but they had a, uh, basically like a burrito bowl. I got it without rice, extra chicken. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good week. Sunday night, uh, tomorrow's a holiday, so maybe not everybody's working tomorrow. No school tomorrow. But uh, we got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. So hope everybody has a good week. And thank you for all the support and comments, texts, and everything. Day 31, almost done. See ya.